everybody, Joy here. It's Tuesday morning, May 3, 2022. And we're going to talk about the kitty quilt today. Yes, the kitty quilt. I know you have wanted to see it, wanted to see it, wanted to see it, and I so much want to show it to you. In fact, my camera was clogged up with kitty quilt clips that I've taken. <laughs> I just started to do this video a little bit ago, and it just clogged up and went dead and it's just because there are so many kitty videos in it so I had to remove everything but those. So anyway, today, this very day, I'm making a label for the kitty quilt. I am going to mail it on Friday, I think. Uh, the wedding, Viv's daughter's getting married Saturday and so her life has been full, 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 full of wedding, 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 wedding. So I think I'm going to wait till Friday and mail it on Friday, then she'll get it sometime next week. I might even wait until next Monday to mail it and let her recuperate from the wedding. We shall see. Anyway, it needs a label. <laughs> I think when you give somebody something as a gift, and it's a quilt, I think it needs to have a label on the back of it. You know, if they didn't ask you to make it, and they didn't, and you're not quilting it for somebody because you're in that business, but you're giving it to a friend as a gift, I think it needs to be labeled like if you wrote your friend a letter and you signed your name to it. Tell me what you think about that, my quilting friends. So I was just going to wrap it up and put it in a box and send it. And then I thought, oh, I should put a label on the back. So, and I know that sounds like an easy thing to do. Well, I think I've spent 45 minutes so far, maybe an hour, trying to figure out how little to make it, what words to say, what words not to say. I mean, you don't want the label to be as big as the quilt, for heaven's sake. <laughs> so that's my job today, is to get a label on it. Then I'm going to write a letter uh, to go with it, explaining to her. And when you see the quilt, you'll understand why that was necessary. And um, get it all boxed up and ready to mail. And this is already Tuesday, so probably next Monday. I'll take a trip to the post office and get that mailed. And then once she receives it, and she sees it, then I can show you all of the videos that I took of it while I was making it. Okay, so stay tuned for that in a new video. Now, speaking of kitties, <laughs> the reason I wanted to make this for her in the first place was I saw it in a quilt shop. I saw it actually made up in a quilt shop. I walked in and I saw the books and I saw the kitties and I thought, oh, that reminds me of my friend Viv because she has all these sewing books. She loves to collect what she calls counter books, which are the, the books that are on the counters when the new patterns come out and you go in there and you sit and you look through the book and you see all the pound patterns from Simplicity, from McCall's, from New Look, from whoever else. Those are called counter books, and Viv loves them. She has them from way back in the 50s, I think. But anyway, she loves those. So I thought about, oh my gosh, I'd love to make that for her, and then we could put the McCall's and the Simplicity and all of that, and then it would have kitties in it, and she loves kitties. <laughs> so it turned out a little different than that, but... You'll see that when my uh, kitty video comes out, okay? But, believe it or not, I have that quilt hanging right here next to me. I have another quilt that I'm working on, the mystery quilt from Edita Sitar, next to it. I have this quilt. You've seen my Easter quilt. You've seen my chicken quilt. You've seen all my different quilts. Jerry has never gotten excited over any of them. None of them. He came up here and he saw this kitty quilt and he went nuts over it. You need to keep that. That's the, that's the best quilt you've ever made, Joy. You need to keep that. I just love that quilt. I said, we can't keep that quilt. That's got Viv's Kitty's names in it. We can't keep that quilt. <laughs> and so, he was up here again yesterday. And again, he said, well, he was up here helping me hang this up. This is called Oh My Stars, by the way. Let me tell you about this one. This is called Oh My Stars. I did not make the quilt talk. I bought the quilt top back in my learn how to be a better long armor days and I actually was pretty darn good by the time I did this one. I wish you could see the quilting in it. But I got this from eBay. I added the black, the purple, and the black. I added the backing and I quilted it. But I did not piece this quilt top, but I love it. It's called Oh My Stars. I named it because, hello! It has stars all over it. <laughs> it 
see this big star here and this big star here just in case you can't see it and here's the star and uh, here's a star and here's a star and here's a star they're everywhere so that's called all my stars so he helped me put this one up and after we put it up I said well what do you think and he said I never have liked that kind of quilt joy I just don't get it. He said, I love that one over there because it tells a story. That's the one I like. So guess what? <laughs> I hope he can't hear me. If I want him to hear me, he never hears me. Guess what's in this bag? Yeah, let me sneak over there and show you just in case he can hear me. <laughs> yep. It is another one that I purchased. You can see the name of it. And I'm going to make it as a surprise for him. How can I do that and him not know it? Pretty easily. He never comes up here unless I ask him to. And he never pays attention to what I'm doing. So I think it'll be pretty easy to, to get it done. And not only that. If you want to you can get yourself one i looked around for the kit and i found several of them out there now there's one lady that wants way too much money for them uh so look around i got it for a decent price i think on etsy but maybe on ebay or maybe from a quilt shop i don't remember to tell you the truth <laughs> but they are still out there and if you want to, we can make it together, and we'll do a sew along on the next one. Cause I'm not going to start it for I don't know, maybe before his birthday. Oh, how about that? His birthday's the end of September, so maybe we'll start it in the fall. I don't know. Tell me what you all think about that. It's a fun, fun, fun one to make. It really is. And once Viv gets it and opens it and has seen it. I will show you in detail all about my making it and what all I did different on it, okay? So that's about the kitty quilt. Now here's the next thing I want to tell you. <laughs> I have something else quilty to tell you, hopefully. I don't want this video to be a mile long. We did the memorial service for Jerry's brother this past Saturday, April 30, and it went very, very smoothly. Um, everybody was as nice as they could be. There was only about 30 people there. And the funeral director was there. It was at Sanders Funeral Home in Kingfisher, Oklahoma. And the director guy named Chad was there. And the Nazarene preacher that we chose was there. And then some of Donnie's friends and family were there. Nobody had COVID anymore, praise God. <laughs> so that all went very well. So, Jerry wanted to take everybody out to lunch afterwards to a place called City Cafe. City Cafe is in downtown Kingfisher. It's a real tiny little town and has all the old downtown buildings like you're used to seeing in old towns. And, you know, some of the buildings are new, new banks and gas stations and stuff, but the old buildings are still there too. And so there's this place called City Cafe. And it's just one of the buildings in a row of buildings, you know, on a sidewalk <laughs> down the street, the main street of the town. And you park in the back of it. And so we all parked in the back and we went inside and they had a row of tables all set up. Very nice. We only had, I think there was only about 20 people came to eat. And so they had set up two rows of tables and had them all set with napkins and silverware and it was very very nice it's just a very little diner type place and they usually have a plate of the day and they erase that from the board because it was all gone it was some kind of fish and uh, so everybody ordered from the menu so i ordered a hamburger a cheeseburger the guy across from me ordered a cheeseburger he ordered a cheeseburger with mustard and onions i ordered a cheeseburger with no onions and mayonnaise. <laughs> Somehow they got our order mixed up. So they brought him the one with mayonnaise and no onions. But he just started eating it. I mean, he knew it wasn't what he ordered, but he didn't carry ate it anyway. Well, a little bit later they brought mine, and it had the mustard and the onions. Well, mustard, 
upsets my stomach, onions upset my stomach, I didn't want to smell like an onion or taste like an onion, I wouldn't eat it. And so I told the waitress, and she said, oh, let us make you another one. And so the guy across from me, I said, you want this bun with the mustard and the onions? And so I handed him my plate, and he took off the bun with the mustard and the onions, and uh, she took my plate away. So she came back with the right kind of cheeseburger. Well, that made it so I was the last one to get my lunch. So I was still eating, and everybody else was done. Well, I was sitting right next to Jerry's Aunt Betty Jane. His mom, Jerry and Don, were brothers. Their mother's name was Nita. Nita had a brother named Johnny. Johnny was married to Betty Jane. They lived half a mile apart from each other there in Kingfisher for years and years and years and years and years. And every Christmas when we would get together, Aunt Betty Jane and Johnny and their two girls always came. All the cousins were always there at Lonita's house. Lonita and her mom lived together. Her name's Lanita, they called her Nita. And all of the people would always go there. So I knew Jerry's Aunt Betty Jane really good. And plus, when I was cleaning out his mom's house after she died to get it ready to sell, new carpet, new paint, new curtains, new everything, Aunt Betty Jane used to come over almost every day. And she and I would talk and talk and talk and we became very close. And so Aunt Betty Jane has two daughters named Mary Ann and Janie. Janie wasn't able to come. She lives in Texas, and she wasn't able to come. She wanted to very, very much, but she couldn't. She and Donnie are the same age, and they played there all together all the time when they were little kids. But Marianne came. So I'm sitting here with my hamburger. Everybody else is done eating. Right next to me is Aunt Betty Jane, who is now 95 years old. And right next to Aunt Betty Jane is Marianne. Marianne is a quilter. Mary Ann even uses a long arm together with her friend. They share a long arm. So I hadn't really been able to talk to her at all because, you know, she was away from me and she was talking to the people on the other side of the table. So we really hadn't had any conversation. I was talking to Aunt Betty Jane and Jerry on the other side of me. So I'm about three-fourths of the way through my hamburger and Mary Ann gets up from her chair and she walks over to where I am. And she whispers in my ear, if you can get done eating, there's a new quilt shop right next door, and it's open for 15 more minutes. I put my hamburger down, <laughs> put my napkin down, and I got up. And Mary and I went out of the city cafe and walked next door to the nicest quilt shop. The nicest quilt shop. This is the name of it. This is the bag that I walked out of there with. It's called The Quilt Lady. I'm sure they have a website. This says quilt-lady.com on Facebook. Facebook and Instagram, quilt-lady.com if you're interested. The nicest quilt store I have ever been in. Not the biggest, not the most stuff, but the most organized, the cleanest, the friendliest two girls in there. Oh my goodness. I just was in quilt heaven. <laughs> and of course they're closing, closing in 15 minutes. And so I rush around and I say, oh my gosh, I've been looking for something to make patriotic quilts with. I've been online day after day looking for panels, trying to figure out how to make a patriotic quilt. The girl said, you want a panel? I said, well, I'd like to look at some panels. I'm interested in making a patriotic quilt. I want to start with a panel in the middle of it. Oh my goodness. They went up to the cash register. I followed. They had a book, a big book. We like this is a book. They opened it up. They had pictures in there of every panel in the world. Every panel. Spring, summer, fall, winter, patriotic, Easter, you name it. Every panel. So she looked under the patriotic section and she showed the pictures to me. And I said, oh my gosh, I've been looking for that one and I've been looking for that. And she tells the girl, go get number 102 and number 104. And they go somewhere. And they get these two panels. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. You want to see them? 
yeah, I was in there, and I closed in 15 minutes, but, you know, I was going crazy, and I was so excited, so they went ahead and stayed open for me, bless their hearts. I spent $181 in there in 30 minutes. <laughs> so let me show you the two panels that I bought. And, of course, I had to buy all the, the stuff for the borders and the backings and all of those things, you know. So these are the two panels that I bought. I'm sure you've probably seen them in other quilt shops. Let me get rid of this cup of tea before I spill it. So here is one of them. I think this is just a flag. So this one's horizontal, a horizontal panel. So the girl said to me, I have a card that shows a way to use a horizontal panel and put some blocks with it. So she went over and she got me that. Look at this. I'll get up close. Now this is horses, <laughs> but you get the idea that even though mine's flags, I could still put those flying geese all around it, being a horizontal shape. And this card is from Villa Rosa Designs. Who do we hear talk about Villa Rosa Designs all the time? Yep, Becky Thompson at Power Tools with Thread, Becky Thompson. Yeah, she, she gets five of these a month or something in the mail. Okay, so that's panel number one. And this is panel number two. Why two? Because I need one here and I need one in there where the sewing machines are. Of course. And it's 4th of July, and it's my Boo Bear's birthday. And so, my gosh, I ought to bake one for him, but I don't think they really appreciate my quilts. Kind of like Jerry's daughter. So, here we go. This is the next one. The Eagles. I'm sure you've seen it in quilt shops. So, that's the other one. And so, of course, I had to buy all the fabrics to go with. And she had... Let me see, I've got two, two packages going here. <laughs> she, of course, had a card for that one, too. And she went and she got that for me. So, I've already got the pattern. Super easy. Yay! And not only that, not only that, she had these actual fabrics that go with it. The, the fabrics right here on this card, she had them. She said, oh, come over here and I'll show you where the fabrics are that go with those panels. Oh, it was wonderful, wonderful. And I was the only customer. Marianne was just watching me go crazy over all the fabric. <laughs> and so then, I got it all done and I got it put in the bag. And, you know, Jerry was still over at the cafe with all of the other guests. And so, I've got my big bag. They just gave it to me. And I turn around and I see Jerry's just walked in the front door. And so I took the bag and I hung it on. I said, here, Marianne, take this bag. And I hung it on her shoulder. <laughs> oh, so anyway, it was a wonderful, wonderful day. I just felt like the Lord just gave me a, a gift. The Lord gave me a gift just for no reason. He just wanted to do something for me that was special. So that was the memorial service. And that's how it ended. Actually, we then went out to the gravesite with uh, Don's son and his mom and one of his friends or something. I don't know. But that's how come I'm a little bit tan today. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go or this video will just be way too long. I love y'all. Come back and I'll show you the kitty quilt in probably two weeks. Maybe I'll show you something else between now and then. But... I know you are wanting to see that kitty quilt, and I definitely will show it to you. Bye for now.